Welcome guys and this is the ninth Java tutorial and in this um, tutorial I'll be showing you how to write a code that will allow the user to enter um, seconds and those seconds then will be converted into a clock. So first off let's write, let's begin by creating a class. Let's call this uh, E2 for exercise 2 and let's name it seconds two clock <coughs> not Joe clock two clock mark the public static void main let's get rid of this comment which I don't know why that comment is always there Man, I'm sure there has to be a way to eliminate that so anyways let's um, import the scanner class and here we're gonna create a scanner and we're gonna call it um, console new scanner system oh system dot in remember this is this is for the so the user can enter information whatever data the the program is gonna be asking for so then we're gonna declare um, the seconds, no, the minutes in a in a in a second. Sorry, the min, the seconds in a minute, and the minutes in an hour. What we're gonna do is finalize them. <clears throat> well, finalize them. What basically means is that it will define an entity um, that may not may be only be um, assigned once. So, say for example, I put um, this case is minute in um, say hour not hour year hour equals 60 so that's just a uh, 60 minutes in an hour so here you also declare and this time will be second in minute and also 60 seconds Okay, so we finalize that. Basically, what this means is that, like I said, <coughs> this cannot be changed. It can be only declared once. And you might be wondering why um, this variable it are all in caps lock. All the word, all the letters are in caps lock. Well, but not minute, minute. It's minute, not minute. So what what this does is that it shows other people. Say if you're working in a team. In a project, they'll know that this um, variable is actually has actually been finalized. It cannot be um, changed. <clears throat> so now let's go to the prompt. To print out. Um, enter seconds, and let's eliminate the end line. And now for the prompt, um, actually, let me write it right here. Let me declare the um, not minutes. Uh, should I do minutes? No, the seconds. And the let me declare the minutes as well. And what else do I need? Um, the hours. Actually, let me take the s out of that. The hour, minutes, second, minutes, an hour. So here we want the input of the second we want the user to input the seconds um, so yeah so the is console is a keyword don't forget about that and it's an integer so we leave it at that now here's where it gets a little complicated <clears throat> you have to kind of figure out the the formula I already have it so for me it's no problem so it's minute um, equals second divided by the second in a minute. Let's just copy paste that. I'm kind of lazy. And under that, we write second minus equal minute multiply by second in a minute. Now you may be like, wow, what is this stuff? This is too complicated. Well, just bear with me. This is the actual formula. And once you get it right, you won't have to do it again. 
you can actually use this formula for whatever you want. So hour equals minute, and this time we multi we divide that by minute in an hour. So let's copy, paste, and under that we write minute minus equals hour multiply by minute in an hour. So you may be like still a little confused, just bear with me. This formula is one of the best formulas you can use to convert seconds into <coughs> into a clock. So let's do the printout. And let's say um, the time is in, in the hour plus, let's just kind of Let's kind of do this because we don't have that much space. And plus minute plus. Remember yeah, this this columns this columns right here is what's going to separate the minutes, uh, the hours, the minute and seconds. And second. Okay, I know a little seems a little confusing at first, but let's let's run this sucker and let's see how it works. So let's say let's input fifty six seven eight. It's fifty six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine seconds, and this is the result. The time is fifteen hours, forty six seconds, or minutes, and twenty nine seconds. <coughs> So yeah, that's basically uh, how this code works. Let me just recap. We finalize these variables, minute and a second, second and a minute. We declare seconds, minute and hours as integers. We prompt the user to enter the, the, the second or the information. And then we did the formula. We first did the minute equals the seconds, divided by the seconds in a minute, which is 60 seconds minus plus minute multiply by second in a minute which is 60 again and the same procedure for the hour and it gave us that printout so anyways that's basically the whole code it's very easy i know it seems a little complicated because of all the math that it involves in it but if you're good at math you'll solve this quite quickly there's a lot of uh, other um, formulas out there you can use but this is my favorite it's actually the shortest one but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy something, and um, next time I'll be showing you a, a, another program, actually more simple than this one, but involves um, calculating average of um, your school grades or whatever. All right, guys, well, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.